So we're now three hours in at with the client until the point where they're under contract. So it took me three hours to work with the seller. It took me 11 hours to work with that buyer. Guys, are you kind of seeing where I'm going here? I can work with at minimum three times as many sellers in the same time that I would spend to work with one buyer. That means I can earn three commissions working with sellers in the time that it takes me to make one commission working with a buyer. And what I've really found with buyers is only being 11 hours in is very conservative. Again, this lady is highly motivated. Um, many, many times I've had buyers where I am quite likely closer, you know, I'm somewhere between 25 and maybe as much as 40 hours in. Now you start doing the math on that. And that means you could potentially easily work with seven to eight, maybe even 10 sellers in the time commitment that it takes you to work with one buyer. Now, again, not saying that, that there's uh, that, that one is better than the other, not at all. But what I'm saying is as a business owner, you have to start to decide how much time and energy do you actually have in a given week to commit to your real estate business and where are you going to spend it and how many transactions, how many people can you genuinely help at a high level giving great service to close the most number of transactions in a given week, month, or year? And the answer always comes down if you to do the most deals and still be able to give people great service, it needs to be with sellers.